The Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BSF Canada and Invigor Hybrid Canola. Kara Ustrauss here with realagriculture.com. I am here today with another Canola School episode, and I have here with me Marissa Robitaille Baylog, who is with the Canola Council of Canada. How's it going today? I'm good. How are you doing? I am doing good. We're in a field. It is starting <laughs> to rain, but hey, we're in southern Alberta, and rain in May is not a bad thing. So uh, there we go. We are here to talk, though, about pre-emerge and the importance of spraying a pre-emerge chemical, you know, before that canola actually comes out of the ground. Do you want to kind of talk about what your messaging is there? Sure. So we think that a pre-emergent um, herbicide application is really important to help our crop get off to a really successful start at the beginning of the growing season. By controlling weeds early on in the field, you're making sure that they aren't using valuable resources like moisture, nutrients, sunlight um, that you want your canola to have access to when it starts coming up. So talk about how competitive canola actually is off the bat. So canola isn't super competitive when it's small and when it's early on in the growing stage. Between that cotyledon to four leaf stage, it's pretty susceptible to those external stressors. So by removing weeds and other pressures like that, you're allowing resources, again, like nutrients um, and moisture to be accessible for that canola to get off to a good start. And how could this play into the whole early insect uh, conversation as well, getting that canola off to a good start? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, um, obviously moisture and nutrients are what it takes for canola to grow quickly through those stages where it can handle more um, insect like flea beetle feeding so getting it to that four leaf stage as quickly as we can will help mitigate some of those potential um, insecticide damages as well. And do you want to talk about the importance of rotating your chemicals and and and, talk, and reaching different groups? Yes, definitely. So always using a tank mix and rotating your herbicide groups is really important. Um, one other thing I think is really important to touch on is making sure that you're properly IDing the weeds in your field that you want to be targeting because you want to make sure that you're using the right products to have really good efficacy and control of those weeds. So making sure what you're spraying is what's going to be really good at controlling the weeds. Um, and then some other things to note around when you're choosing a herbicide are making sure that you're paying attention to herbicide label rates, timing, weed staging, and also using really good water volume to make sure that you're getting really good coverage as well. So now obviously we're looking at uh, rotating our crops as well. So if you're on a field that last year had a crazy amount of a certain weed, mm -hmm. is that something you're paying attention for next year? Yes, definitely. Field history is also something to really take into consideration when you're thinking about spraying a pre-emerge. So thinking about different things um, with that field's history is, are you seeing uh, a lot of weeds that weren't controlled very well last year using a certain herbicide group? Is that a red flag that you should be looking out for this year? Or do you know that there's a history of a herbicide resistant weed already showing up in that field that you need to be aware of. So what's your number one, I guess, convincing if a, if a farmer were to come up to you and they say, hey, okay, I'm on the fence, it, it, chemicals expensive, why should I spray that pre-emerge? What, what's kind of your take home message? Um, a lot of yield potentially could be lost due to weed competitiveness, um, taking those nutrients and those resources away from canola right off early on in the growing season, and that can show up later on. Another important thing to consider when you're thinking about spraying a pre-emerge product is um, if you're able to control those weeds when they're really small, you are much better off than if you wait until they're larger, potentially out of stage, and trying to control them with an in-season herbicide application as well. So having cleaner fields throughout the rest of the growing season is also really important. Okay, sounds good. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, I think that's really good. Uh, one other thing I did want to mention is once you've made the decision to scout and to spray a pre-emerge product, um, taking another opportunity to go back and look at that field a second time after you've made a spray application is really important. You can look for different things like, are you seeing a second flush of weeds? Is there an area in the field where these weeds didn't seem to be um, taken out by this herbicide? And if so, why? Was it a sprayer miss? Um, was it a staging issue? Or is there something else going on? Just something to make note of. 